This is really, really bad, i.e. we're getting hit with the worst drought since the 1920s and 30s. We are the breadbasket of the world. The Central Valley uh, grows everything that you drop on the ground, it'll grow. But it won't grow without water and it won't grow with someone without someone farming it. Yeah, I don't know what I would do. I've been doing this my whole life, um, since as far back as I can remember. If it was when I was just a little guy and dad had me hoeing weeds, um, this is all I've ever done. Yes, we have a perfect storm, but we have a big heart and we have the energy and we're gonna keep on going because there has to be hope. the middle of a statewide drought that is the declaration today from Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger. Imagine your community without water, a basic staple of all living things, plants, animals, and people. We all bank on the fact that when we turn on our faucets, we will have water. It is a new day now as a lack of rain. Poor planning for a growing population and environmental restrictions have collided to bring us disastrous news. Ag service contractors would receive zero allocation for the coming year. That would be both agricultural water service contractors north and south of the Delta. Communities throughout California are being brought to their knees with people out of work, children growing hungry, students disappearing from schools, teachers losing their jobs, businesses closing and farmers letting their fields sit idle. Already suffering from the struggling economy and lack of farm work for its residents, the news of reduced water allocations was just one more blow to the small city of Firebaugh, California. You know, nationally we're facing a terrible situation economic-wise. You know, we had the energy crisis, the housing crisis, we talked about the, the current economic crisis, and then you come here to Fireball, and then you compound on top of that the chronic water situation, three years of drought, no employment, no business. We can't do anything out here unless we have water. If we don't have jobs, and don't have the water to keep those jobs here, then teachers will have to leave. It's devastating to think that I might not have a job. I have a lot going through my mind. My dad just told me recently that if everything does not get worked out, I might have to stay home and go to college somewhere at a JC instead of going off to going to my dream college of Cal Poly. In neighboring Fresno County, Todd Deirdrick and his family have been farming their land since the 1800s through three generations. Without water, the family will lose permanent orchards of almonds and will not be able to plant ground allotted for tomatoes. And his dream of ensuring that the farm is preserved for future generations will die along with his orchards. And uh, there's no room to, to cut back anymore. We've done everything possible to conserve water out here. We farm 15, 1600 acres out here and it's, it's nice to know this is my office, what I come to every day. It gets pretty tough because my great-grandfather made it, my uh, grandfather, he made it, my dad and his brother made it, and now here we are trying to figure out um, if we're going to make it or not. Open space now planted with crops and maintained by family farmers and ranchers throughout the state will go to dust. Farmers like John Harris will pull productive almond trees and along with the loss of trees will come a loss of jobs. Yeah, it's really heartbreaking because uh, people don't realize the, the human tragedy involved in, in a, a water situation like we have. I mean, we've laid, uh, had to lay off over 80 people. And personally affect me, you know, because we used to have more, we've been taking almonds out and uh, that will affect me on my job, you know, and uh, the way we are right now, if we don't give it more water, then it'll probably affect my job. Reduced water supplies will impact all Californians at some level. Meet Terry Gilliand, who owns and operates the hip urban eatery Roxy in Sacramento, California. I think people appreciate knowing where their food comes from. Once they understand and appreciate the work and um, everything involved in what goes on, starting with growing the product and that starts with of course 
water. Conservation and on-farm irrigation efficiencies alone will not solve California's water problem. Meet Dean Diefenthaler, Vice President of Dude Fresh Farm in Oxnard, California, whose motto is always, use water wisely as it is our most valuable resource. The future of farming in California certainly relies upon its, the, the use of water and the availability of water. It's a, it's a valuable resource. If we don't use it wisely or if we don't have enough, we're not going to have the ability to grow our crops to, to feed the, the country and the world. Um, you know, wherever water flows is where crops grow, and, uh, but you still have to use it wisely. In the short run, uh, there's very little we can do in 2009 because of the problems of, seriously, just of the drought. And then the drought is restricted by some of the biological restrictions on the delta pumping. Essentially, what's happened is the well-being of the farmers and the well-being of the fish has been tied, linked, by the court cases. The Endangered Species Act is very specific uh, and the chances of, of being modified and changed are really low. So I think we have to look and say, well, okay, let's find out how we can augment the fish so the farmers can also get augmented. But on top of that, we've actually got very dramatic job losses. And these, these range, again, depending on groundwater, from 60,000 to 80,000 jobs. They talk about these um, auto workers, you know, going to be out 30,000 jobs. You know, we need a bailout. And um, uh, if you look at our situation at 0% water, that's 60,000 jobs. You know, uh, we're not looking for a bailout. And you want to make stimulus, you turn the pumps back on. The water crisis is impacting communities throughout the state. Healthy families depend on healthy farms to provide the fruits, nuts, vegetables, grains, and meats that feed their families. I've been working basically 40 years and this is what I have to look forward to. Is the end of 40 years, I'm going to end up with nothing. If I'd have stayed in school longer and um, instead of going to work with dad right away, you know, maybe um, I could fall back on something, but you know, I have no education outside of high school. Just been farming my whole life. Our farmers are truly the backbone of this country. I'm not overestimating when I tell you that Without them, we wouldn't feed, be able to feed our children. They have provided us a, a, a life of leisure. I've had people say, well, well, the, American, the oranges are too expensive and this stuff that here we grow is too expensive. We can get our oranges and our, 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 our vegetables from Chile. You can get them now. One of these days when Chile doesn't have them anymore, we're gonna be in dire straits here. When American farmers begin to sell their land and not farm anymore, that's gonna be a very, very sad day.